So he took my opening line of, we're the home of William Faulkner. So I'll just repeat, we're the home of William Faulkner. <laughs> um, the arts do have a major impact in Oxford. Um, not only were the home of William Faulkner, were the birthplace of America's music and the blues. Um, and the support from the NEA, we were able to apply in a unique way. The Yachna Patafa Arts Council helped build with our Chamber of Commerce and the Small Business Administration an arts incubator. Our goal was to take our creative voices and make them our creative businesses. Through mentoring programs and instead of a co-workspace, we had a co-creative space offered that offered tools and resources that helped our artists launch their new businesses so poor Ben Folds would not have to work on a shoestring budget. Um, the result of mixing business helped us grow and launch new businesses, and I just wanted to share a few examples. Female filmmaker Melanie Addington recognized that the need for film equipment, a film equipment co-op, would expand access to film production tools in our community. It would create new stories. It would drive business. We were able to establish that, offer training, and the result was last year, 28 projects were produced in our community. We're a town of 23,000 people. So to have 28 projects come in and hire local, tell our stories, and celebrate Mississippi, we think is significant. It also provided the training, so now these people have the opportunity to do jobs from across the country and we had our first sound production studio open up that is drawing uh, work from across the country and producing and mixing sound for films right in Little Oxford, Mississippi. Costume designer Andy Bedsworth came to us with an idea about an art school so she could provide access to arts education at every level. And in talking to our mentors and business partners at the chamber, she realized what we really needed in a rural state was a mobile art school. And so she packed an entire school into a van, and it tours North Mississippi. Last year, it reached 3,000 students and employed eight people. From one simple idea connecting with business leaders, she's creating jobs, she's introducing children to the art, which is an experience they will enjoy and hopefully continue their entire life. Our Arts Council appreciates the ability to have funding from the NEA. It inspired us to do new things and help our community. But also being part of this study allowed us to share what we're doing in terms that our community understands. It allowed us to show the jobs, the impact, and as a college football town home to the University of Mississippi, it was, we could put it in terms the community really understands. 220,000 people ca came to our community last year. In our economy, that's two football games. And we can guarantee we won both of those games because it offered 320 days of programming. So thank you to the sport for the NEA and thank you to Arts Americans for the Arts for allowing us to share this information and make it something that our community could understand and, and see the impact.